my channel is about all things chronic illness so don't forget to like comment and subscribe hey guys happy third no wednesday um just wanted to pop on it's what time 7 36 and i'm about to try to eat dinner the struggle um i had a hair appointment at like six this morning and i literally was like a walking zombie kept falling asleep throughout the appointment i just did not feel good i was hurting so bad it's been raining all day um and so as soon as I got done, I came home and I just been in bed. Um, every time I try to eat something, it's just excruciating pain. Um, so I'm prepping, getting ready for tomorrow for my procedure. Um, the hospital called to do my pre-registration and you know making sure I understood everything that's gonna happen tomorrow. Um, I have a overnight bag that I had already packed when I went to Florence, Alabama, just being on the safe side when you're in a different state, not knowing what you're going to do. Um, so I'll have that with me in the car along with um, my meds and stuff like that. So um, it's an hour drive over to the hospital and they said I could be there for up to four hours. Um, so I have to be there at seven. So the only thing I have left um tonight is i can't eat after midnight um so i set my alarm because i'm always like like i'll snack on like grapes crackers something sometimes like after i have to run to the bathroom like i'm shaky like my blood sugar is dropping so i always like munch on stuff until i fall asleep um but i had to set my timer alarm to say you know 11 50 don't eat anymore I've been trying to hydrate throughout the day in between sleeping. Um, I've pretty much been um, using my medical uh, marijuana throughout the day. Um, when it wore off, I took an early dose, um, hoping that it would um, help with some of the discomfort that I was having to deal with. Um, so yeah, that's the, the plans for today. Um, I've got to pull out whatever I'm going to wear. And they always ask you to wear comfortable clothes. I've already took off my wedding ring and making sure I don't have any jewelry. Um, I'll make sure that my charger, my portable charger is in here and I will, um, put my other one in in the morning so this is my portable my brother bought me this i don't even know six seven years ago if not longer um and it still works amazing so yeah i just have to put the regular thing in there um and my make sure all my meds are good um because sometimes if for some reason you have to go in the hospital a lot of times special things they wouldn't have um you know certain things i have to order so uh, that's where your girl is at right now so i'll definitely come on tomorrow um when we get up and start to head that way and um i'll try to tell my husband to record from his phone um uh, any updates that he may get because you know sometimes a doctor they do come back and talk to you but you don't really remember because of the anesthesia um so i would definitely try to make sure he records um tomorrow but you guys uh, be blessed and i'll see you guys on tomorrow morning bright and early good morning everyone so i um, made it to the hospital and we are about to walk in so i can check in to start my paperwork but I want to let you guys 
just to say good morning. Hey guys, so they just got my ID and I'm getting prepped. They're, I don't know this time frame, but they're saying it can take anywhere from an hour to two hours. We've been here since seven and it's, it's currently 9.30. So I'm just waiting um, for them, I guess the doctor to come talk to me um, and them to take me back. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. Not too happy because I don't understand why we had to be here at 7. Um, but it is what it is. Hey guys, I'm done with my procedure. They're gonna keep me overnight because I'm still having a lot of pain and nausea. They had to put a stent in. He said that my bile duct was like, had. Um, was like completely obstructed um, so that's why they had to put a strength the stand to try to open up to get flow back in so they're gonna watch me to make sure I don't have any like pancreatitis attacks or anything so I soon I'm just waiting on a bed um, I'm glad I packed my bag and then the only thing I forgot is like my Lysol stuff is not in this bag and my wipes and I didn't even realize it so it is what it is at this point I can get my husband to bring it back if, if I'm going to be here longer than 24 hours or whatever so I'll come back Hey guys, so I'm in my room. I can't remember if I said that earlier. Um, it's the cardio vascular, I'm sorry. Cardio uh, vascular unit is where they have me. And um, I'm MPO, nothing by mouth. Um, I have my fluid going, they just gave me more pain meds. Um, they're trying to see if he'll want me just to try Jello. Um, waiting on response for that, but I'll keep you guys posted. I'm just so tired physically and mentally, and I'm, the pain is just really bad. Um, but it, they did say that because of the stent, like that would be extra sore, um, and that there was a stone that was in the um, bowel duct pancreas area that they took out that had a whole bunch of stenosis um, in the bile duct and they opened that up and that was the purpose of them having to use a stent to try to keep some flow going um, through that area but I would definitely come back once I know a little more um, the meds are kicking in and out so be blessed So, it's 1.30 in the morning, and the loudness came in, completely rude, I'm telling her, like, hey, it hurts, and it's kind of like, okay, and no name, don't, nothing, just, I'm just not okay right now. I'm on the lauded every four hours for the pain. That really doesn't work. And I'm considering taking my stuff, my own stuff. Because I'm just frustrated. I just need to know full answers to everything. My memory's bad. Like, it's a lot right now. I just can't catch a break. And another thing, they keep telling me I can take my mask off, but yet my door won't close. So, I'm gonna flip it around. Sorry for that glare. They have it rigged to the claw 
calls it homomorphing. Just not close. And there's a patient that's hacking up the room. At least two doors down. We have to share a bathroom. The only thing this room has is a sink. And I'm assuming this maybe used to be like like they're set up like an ER. But we have to like there's one shower. Like not happy. Like in the middle of the pandemic, we split in bathrooms and showers. So I took a nice little wipe off. I want to be getting in their shower. <laughs> and I can't wait to go home and be in my own house, my own job, my own bed. I oh, have my lip. It's full. Can you see it? It's from, like, I woke up and it was this. No, if um, like my guard or the tube. Um, like hit my lip on the way, like when they were taking it out. I don't know. I'll take the, um, N95 mask off because I had, um, when I got up and took a uh, wipe off, like I um, was so weak and I just was drenching sweat because I haven't eaten since yesterday. Well, I'm sorry. What's today? So it's Friday. I haven't eaten since Wednesday night at nine and it's hard. I'm getting fluids, but I need some type of something. So like I'm really like, uh, shaky blood sugar's dropping just is a lot <sighs> but you don't get any rest when you're in the hospital because they're constantly coming in my nurse he has the nastiest demeanor too I just need to make it through to, to get to see this doctor so I can go home I don't know what the next steps are um he just ordered a CBC um complete metabolic profile and a PTT and I'm like am I having a clotting issue <laughs> that I didn't know about like it is what it is hey guys Friday so I need to get more um, Dilaudid earlier, but it has not helped, and I've been wide awake the entire time. It's 5 o'clock, 5.05. 5. <laughs> I don't even know what they do. And I do have my other stuff, but I don't kind of respect the laws and not do it, but I don't know. <clears throat> hey guys, so it's 8.51, waiting to see when the doctor is going around. I'm in a lot of pain. Um, haven't had medicine since one something. And the nurse who's super sweet this morning, I had her yesterday um, downstairs in endoscopy. And um, she was like, you sure you don't want me to give it to you? And I was just like, I went on ahead and took her wipe off. And um, I told her, just give me a few minutes and then I'll probably take it. We're trying to see if I'm gonna stay on NPO or what. So um, it's just like a waiting game right now. Um, I would say the pain is like really intense. Um, my lip is still swollen. And she said that's really common after um, the endoscopies uh, to nick you when they're taking the mouth guard out. Um, 
got a new mask. Um, she gave me two. Got some new socks. Um, I didn't do a good job with packing everything that I needed in my bag, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna rest. I'm not in any rush. If I gotta stay, I gotta stay. Um, we do have track practice starting tomorrow, but the weather has been pretty rainy and it may be the same tomorrow. <sighs> Being in here is not a bad thing right now because I've been at that point to where I knew I needed to go to the ER and I never did. So, um, but yeah. All right, guys. So the, the um, PA went in. Uh, my oxygen keeps dropping, and my blood pressure is ninety. What is it? Ninety four over sixty two. Um. So the PA came in, and they're probably gonna keep me a couple more days because my. Um, pancreatic enzymes are elevated um, and they're concerned and as long as they're elevated I can't eat I'm not happy about that um, but I'm not rushing it I told her um, so I just got my pain um, medicine not too long ago um, and I'm about to probably just take a nap uh, I still don't have a signal and I can't even call the phone company to tell them I don't have a signal. Um, so I'm trying to get my husband on the phone. Like I can dial, I'm sorry, I can text or FaceTime um, iPhone users, but not anybody with Android. So I'm gonna try to see if my sister-in-law can um, leave a message with my rheumatologist um, to let them know I am in the hospital <sighs> so I'll keep you guys updated